And I totally feel like that's what it's like being a mom, especially a mom of three children. I used to be a runner. I'm not sure if used to be is actually the right word. It, like once you're a runner, are you always a runner? I'm not sure. Anyway, one of the reasons that I started running was because I went to one of Mike's races. He was in a triathlon and I never thought I could run. I always hated running. So I went to this triathlon to watch him and cheer him on. We brought the kids and everything. It was in Florida. At the time we lived in Maryland, of course, but Mike was doing this triathlon in Florida and the kids must have been, I don't know, Ryan was two. So it was a really long time ago. And I got there and I'm watching and I'm standing on the sidelines and there's all kinds of people running by young, old, big, little, people with prosthetics, <laughs> people with like just sort of hobbling along. And I thought, holy cow, this is kind of silly. If these people can do it, then I can too. So I picked up a pair of shoes, started running, and that's the end of the story. Well, not really the end of the story. I did a lot of running. I ran a few marathons, a lot of half marathons, a lot of 10Ks, a few 5Ks, but you know, like anything with the running, it was like an ebb and a flow. Like I would do it and then I would stop and do it and stop. Anyway, Katie had a very similar experience this past weekend. Her big sister and her sorority ran a half marathon and Katie went out, made a beautiful sign, cute sign actually, I'll put a picture of it in here, and stood on the sidelines with her, with her other sisters and cheered on Corinne. And Kate called me right afterwards. She goes, Ma, you wouldn't believe it. There was like 70 year olds running this triathlon, or running this, this half marathon. I said, yeah, what do you think about that? She goes, I can do that. I'm like, yes, you can, Kate, yes, you can. So anyway, her good friend put together a running plan and we are now virtually training together for we don't know what. We don't have a race in mind, um, but we are virtually training. So today's run is two miles. It's only our third run. I did a run three nights ago, two nights ago, yesterday was off and now I'm doing a run this morning. We have our uh, family meeting tonight. Our It's the Donnelly's Fan Club live stream tonight, so I can't do my run tonight. I've been doing them at night, um, but now I'm gonna do it in the morning and go out and run a couple miles. So I'm looking forward to it. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning outside, so it's gonna be perfect for running weather. All right, you guys, that felt pretty good. That was two miles moderate is what it's supposed to be. So third run of the training, and I'm gonna check in with Katie. She said she was gonna run this morning at nine. It's 8.30 now, so she's probably just waking up and gonna be doing her run. So. Um, I'm also gonna jump on and see what kind of races we think we might wanna do. We definitely wanna do a Disney race. The only problem is, my understanding is that it's really hard to get in. Not that we won't try, but you have to be there like on the computer right when the race opens because apparently, I, I might, might even be a lottery. I used to run when, okay, this is kind of a funny story. Not funny, interesting. So the very, 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 very first Disney marathon, I was working at Disney World and I actually worked the marathon and I remember thinking, oh my gosh, look at these people running so like so long, so far and it's really early in the morning, I have to get up and everything. But as a cast member, I, I don't think I got paid. I think it was a volunteer thing. Um, so I volunteered to work and I remember Mike and I were dating at the time and he did not volunteer for it, but he came and picked me up after it was over, which was like 7 a.m. Like I, I think I was in the setup crew. So I was there from like, let's say 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. or whatever. And then he came and picked me up and we had breakfast before he went to work. <laughs> then he dropped me back off at my apartment and then went, that was kind of fun. But anyway, um, the, but I did run the Disney Princess Half Marathon and that was super fun. I dressed up as um, Snow White. <laughs> That's what I look like in the Half Marathon. So anyway, I'm gonna try to see if we can do a race there and then maybe like maybe a race in Tallahassee or something, but stay tuned. I know I'm, I'm talking big and by telling you guys I'm doing this, it kind of like sets a, draws a line in the sand like I have to. So um, I will keep running and it's just so energizing. I absolutely love it. Hi, Rye Guy. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> yeah, how was school? It was good. Yeah? It was good, yeah. Well, first of all, you had another fire alarm. Would you like to yeah. tell everybody about that? There's been zero fires at my school, but literally just every week, like sometimes twice a week for the past three or four weeks, the fire alarm has been pulled. Uh, I think the rumor is someone was doing pull-ups and they like kicked it 
Uh, Maybe like the sprinkler or something? Is that possible? Like it was a sprinkler? No, I no. Heard, like that. A fire alarm. Uh, anyway, oh my gosh. And we so we keep so everyone just stops, we all go outside and then we you know, go back inside. But uh yeah. better here than in New York or, or I mean Maryland yeah. where it's cold. Yeah, yeah, true. I say New York because Katie was telling me it's thirty six in Rochester. Thirty six in rain today in Rochester. I know it's 85 here. And listen, if you like 36 and rain, I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying it's just a little bit different. So if you were going out for a fire alarm in 36 and rain yeah, twice a week, yeah, right? Oh my yeah. gosh. Um, all right, so for school, give me, um, what was something that surprised you today? Uh, Other than the fire alarm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think this one, this one kid, we're in math. <laughs> and he kind of just like walked out of the classroom. He told me he was gonna do it, and I was like, "No shot." And he goes, "Shake on it." I go, so I shook his hand, and then he just kind of left. And my math teacher just never knew. Really? Like, yeah. was the math teacher turned around? Like he just—he was just like at the front of the class, and he, it was like in one of those portables. Uh huh. And he just kind of leaves. <laughs> it was kind of funny because there's like the front door of the classroom, and then there's like a back door. So do you think he was just trying to see if he could do it? Yeah, but he never came back. Oh my gosh, was so, math is math last period? No. Oh. Second to last. So I wonder if he went to the next class. I don't know. Well, that's a little weird. It was like halfway through the class. It was funny. So were you like? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where it went. I haven't seen him since. So. I hope he's okay. All right, well, that's a good one. That's a true story. I, 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 believe, I believe that. Also, we have volleyball tonight. So <gasps> right. I'm going to go back to school at 6. A little volleyball tournament for SGA. SGA, Student Government Association. So they put together, what, volleyball like teams or something? Or how yeah, does that so you work? put together teams of like 6 to 8 people, and uh, you just go play a volleyball tournament. And then during March, they do a March Madness thing. Um, with like basketball and stuff, so it's just like and who's on your team? So it's me, Ethan, Trevor, Scotty, Lucas, and it was gonna be Broden, mm -hmm. but he couldn't make it, so now it's Carly. Oh, oh, so you have five guys and a girl. Mm -hmm. Is that that's what your team should be called? Five guys and a girl. Well, what's it called? We okay. You have to have a name, and <laughs> all the names we submitted got rejected <laughs> because because <laughs> they were not school appropriate. <laughs> Oh, I, it was yeah. so dumb, but, <laughs> so dumb. and we were so close on Pro State University, but then, but then they caught on, and then they, they actually put, oh! they put the name down on the sheet without the space between Pro and State, and so <laughs> our line was we all go to Pro State University, and we we had to pass the Pro State exam to get into Pro State University. <laughs> Um, so we're, I think we're down on the sheet as Volleyball University. <laughs> okay, Volleyball U. But I think we might get shirts and then like write on them or do something. <laughs> Between now and tonight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Anyway. Excellent. Yeah. I'll say how it goes. It's always um, an adventure for me. Yeah, yeah. It's never a dull moment. No, never a dull moment. No, I got a few dull moments of that. I got to do some homework. <laughs> okay. And right. then, and then. I'm and then have a non-dull moment. Correct. All right, excellent. All right, so I'm getting ready for volleyball. We're doing white shirts. So oh. We're going to wipe in Okay. And, Where are you getting um, your white shirt? Scotty. Oh, okay. Nice. He has them for us, so when we get there, we'll, we'll put them on and stuff. But yeah. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Do you think you got a good chance? No. Oh, really? Okay. Do volley like does the volleyball team have a volleyball team? Yeah. No. Well, we don't have a men's volleyball team. Um, I don't know how many of the girls' volleyball players are doing it, but um, I do know that we're gonna have fun. It, there you go. And we're gonna look the best. There you go. So that's all that matters. That's but, what I'm talking uh, about. Oh no, yeah, it's gonna be fun. All right. So. What time will you be home? Mm, I don't know. We might go out after, so. Okay. Sure. Well, let me know. Did you get your homework done? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. All right, stay in touch with me. Let me know what you're doing. Right, we'll Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> On the other hand, I'm setting up for our live. This is what it looks like behind the scenes. There's our light. There's our computer for our live for um, the fan club. We are having our favorite Prosecco. 
It's a Valentine's Day episode, so we have our Valentine's Day balloon, and I've got my pink on, waiting for Mike to come up. We're gonna start here in about 10 minutes. So if you guys are on the live, I cannot wait to see you. If you're not on the live, no worries. We will be back in a few minutes. I've always enjoyed multitasking. I always think it's fun to like keep a bunch of different balls in the air, and it's a challenge to try to take care of this one. Like, well, you keep this one spinning and this one over here. And I totally feel like that's what it's like being a mom, especially a mom of three children um, and having to meet them at each of their, meet their needs for each of them. And today was a good example of that. Like Katie, um, Katie calls me all the time. I'm sure you heard me say probably like eight times a day. She calls me on the way to class. She calls me when she leaves class and it warms my heart. I couldn't love it anymore. Like she just wants to fill me in on what's going on with her day or just, hey mom, I was thinking about this. Or we just talk all the time, which makes me a little unproductive, <laughs> but I wouldn't trade it for the world. So I fit in my things I need to do in between. But like with the running thing, I'm hoping to support her and, um, and, and run with her. And I would love her to be able to um, enjoy it as much as I do and be something we could do together. So that's nice. And then with Ryan, you know, Ryan coming home from school, I always try to ask him, a different question. I learned this from my friend Carrie at home. Like, I don't, um, you know, hey, how was your day at school? Like, every once in a while I'll say that, but really, like, rolling into asking a superlative type question, like, what was the best thing that happened today? What was the worst thing that happened today? Today I asked the question, what surprised you at school? Like, what happened that surprised you? Because otherwise, you won't get those stories. Like, there would be no reason for Ryan to tell me that someone stood up in math class and walked out, you know? So I think that was a lesson that I learned that I really enjoy. And if you guys aren't doing that, that's something that you might want to pick up as well. So um, think about like different questions that you can ask your kids. I'm also open for suggestions too. So if you guys have different ideas or, or things that are working for you in ways to connect with your children, please um, comment down below. I'd love to hear it. Um, and then Brennan, it's funny because Brennan's needs are so much different. He's he's very independent, um, a man of few words, doesn't need to talk all the time. But I would say about, I don't know, once a week, he'll, he'll text me, hey mom, just wanna let you know I love you. But we talk about once a week, maybe twice a week. And mostly it's, um, it's, uh, transactional and I don't mean to say transactional but like hey mom I wanted to call, call you because I need to get um, this thing done on the computer or I need to this that and the other and then that leads into other conversation about how things are going and then what he's doing what he's up to but his needs are a lot less when he's away when he's home um, it's different because he does he does enjoy a lot of the um, touchy feely and the and the just being together and and being with the family but he's all business when he's at school so <laughs> anyway so that's it's really nice it's really nice and reflecting back on that is is beautiful and trying to meet their needs and um be there for them so a video that was fun that um, sort of puts this into practice a little bit was um, when I went and picked up Katie from school because she was sick and she just wasn't feeling well and um, and it wasn't really sick. It was just like teenage school junk. So if you wanna watch that video, take a look here. You can see it, it was very good. And, um, and I think a part of like teenage, raising teenagers. So again, thanks for watching. Go down below and make you guys happy today. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.